so hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mass coder and we are going to discuss the question make array elements unique this is a new POTD so what does the problem say the problem is actually very simple the problem statement say that you can see an array in front of you what is your array 9698925 right it wants that this array contains all unique elements contains all unique elements currently you can see that 9 is occurring thrice and uh, also uh, okay only 9 is occurring thrice right let me add a 6 also here right let us see 6 is also there so 6 will occur twice right so it is it does not contain all unique elements it contains some duplicates right i want to remove those duplicates now how to remove those duplicates so it is giving me a method it says that I can increment an element. I can increment the elements. Increment the elements. It only says that I can increment. It does not say anything about decrementing any element, right? I can increment the elements. All right. If I can increment the elements, and what does that mean? It says that if you can counter a nine and you want to change it to eleven, for example, if you found a nine and you want to change it to eleven, for example, then you will require two operations. That is nine to ten. And 10 to 11 that is for each increment operation you will require an operation right for each increment you will require an operation and you have to return me minimum number of operations to make to achieve this minimum number of increments I hope the problem statement is very clear to you right so what do you have to do that's it that is clear to you how do you have to do that let us explore that so 9669891251 i can only increment i can never decrement please please focus that i cannot decrement the problem changes there i cannot decrement i cannot decrement right so how did i process this question how did i process this question first of all rule out the method of decrementing that i cannot decrement it okay now what can happen let us take an easier example for example i have taken 1 2 3 4 uh, let's say 3 again and then let's say 5 right so what is going to happen this is a sorted array first of all I have taken it in form of now because I can only increment this number can never be equal uh, can never be smaller than this can never be larger than this number because it's a sorted array first of all right my thinking process was that if I sort this array if I sort this array for once right so what will happen this will look something like this only now i'm standing at two for example i'm standing at two what can happen let us say this is ith element so ith element can be lesser than i i minus one element ith element can be equals to i minus one element ith element can be greater than i minus one element right for example if this is the condition which is the condition here two is greater than one so is one affecting the position or affecting the value of two in any way no right because two is greater than one so duplicacy is not there uniqueness is there if I come here again this case only if I come here now I can see that it is equal it is equal so what now what now if 3 3 is there I can increment thing I can only increment so what will I say I will say just use an operation and change it to 4 use an operation and change it to 4 in the case of this use an operation use an operation right how many operation use one operation right three to four right no problem i comes here again this case right but what if what if it was something like this one two three 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 five okay i is here nothing because previous element is nothing so it is not getting affected by any of them i is here 2 is greater than 1 again this case i is here 3 is greater than 2 again this case i is here now 3 is not greater than it is equal to maintain the uniqueness i will have to increment it so increment it to 4 you used one operation here right i comes here now this 3 actually has become less than 4 this 3 has actually become less than 4 that is not acceptable this has to remain in solid order only so what will I have to do? I will change. Have, I will have to change it to five. I will have to change it to five. Okay. If I change it to five, now you will say that if you change it to five, then this five 
becomes duplicate with this five. Okay, I say that. Let us rule that out of the head right now. We will see that afterwards. For current reversion, for this subarray, five is greater than four, right? How many operation did I use now? How many operation did I use now? So I used uh, let's uh, five, uh, three to four, four to five. I used two operations here. Now again here. 3 is again less than 5. So change it to what? Change it to 6. Because if you change it to 4, not gonna work. If you change it to 5, not gonna work. What I am doing is I have to maintain uniqueness from 0 to y. Maintain uniqueness from 0 to y. Right? I comes here, change it to 6. How many operations? 3, 6 minus 3. That is equal to 3 operation. I comes here. Now, what do I have to change 5 to? I will have to change 5 to 7. I will have to change 5 to 7 to maintain the duplicacy because 6 is the lo lowest character I know and 6, it has to be greater than 6. So, 6 and anything less than, uh, greater than 6 is 7, right? Okay. So, it takes how many operations? 2 operations. So, what is the answer? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2. That is equal to... Uh, 3 plus 3, 6 plus 8. That is equals to 8 operation. That is your answer. What we have done? Procedure is very simple. Sort the array. Right? Second step. Second step is uh, for i going from 1 till n minus 1. What will happen? The condition is if my array i is less than equals to my array i minus 1 in that case answer plus equals to array i minus 1 this is my target value and this is my initial value this is the like answer i equal to 0 i have initialized here this is my target value and this is my present value right we have to take the difference only right and then now change it so array of i will now get changed to target value only the array of i minus 1 minus 1 right and at last return answer return answer see we have to do this only in the case of this it can be that that one three uh, six is present so three is not getting affected by one six is not getting affected by three only in the case of equality or lesser than inequality we will have to use this so we are using this if state right what is the time complexity so sorting requires n log n time and we are not using any extra space and we are just traversing so it is o of n log n for time complexity and o of 1 for space complexity and very easy right very easy i don't i don't think that this is of the medium category question right so let us now move to code here is the coding section let me write down the code real fast so sort the array first sort array dot begin array dot end right array sorted now Take your answer equal to 0 right now because no operations. Now for end i going from 1 up till the last of the array. Right? What will you do? If my current element is lesser than equals to my previous element, in that case, answer will get incremented to array i minus 1 plus 1. This is my target value minus array i. This is my current value and also array i will get changed to my target value right now return your answer let me write down the code oh, let me run it for the sample test case it is running fine for the sample test case hope it will run fine for the hidden test cases as well okay getting accepted so thank you for watching hope you liked it and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so so that it gets a better reach and I am able to help more people. Right. So thank you and stay tuned.